hands on your old ass. Get the out of my way. Go get some help. I don't give a no. It's old motherfuckers like you, and then y'all wonder why black people act the up. Because you white bitches think y'all got it on, but you got the right motherfucking one, bitch. Fucking try me. Smell what the fuck you want out of spit in your motherfucking face. You better back the fuck up. And what? I and I, that's a threat. Now I'm gonna put my head on your own ass. Get the fuck out my face. Boom. She just smacked him. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that is. Get the f out of my face. Get the f out of my face. Is, 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 this man is Ooh, he smacked her. his- Whoa! Yeah, she smacked him again! Her. She smacked him again when he turned his back! Oh man, she blindsided an old man? This dude's from about 80 years old. Why are you beating on an old man? What did he do? What did he say? Just move on! Why do you have to beat on an old man? This black woman out here going crazy, man! They can't be reeled back in. They have gone too far! Who wants to deal with this? What? Oh man, his hair needs coming out. Oh, come on, come on, man. What are you doing? No one I say black men are the only options for black women. I mean, a black American men are the only options for black American women. Because you see all this, their boisterous behavior. It's a masculine behavior. Outrageous loudness and going crazy in public. This won't fly in all the cultures. All the men wouldn't tolerate this. Black American men have been programmed from a very early age to accept this. Because they're in, a, they're in a matriarchal system. The matriarchal system where the women are in charge. So you've grown up your whole life. Seeing your grandma, your mom, your aunties all around. They're they in charge. Tell you what to do. They do all that to control the community. The men have been programmed that way. So they tolerate this nonsense. But as the day goes on. A lot of them are realizing. They don't have to tolerate this nonsense. They're leaving. They're not dating them anymore. And now there's women now trying to imitate the passport bros and they're trying to f make the passport cis or whatever. And then they go into these countries and realizing, holy smoke, there's the US and then there's the rest of the world. The rest of the world realize there's a US and the US way of doing things. But people in the US, a lot of them don't realize there's other parts of the world. They think the US is the world. And then they leave to go to all these countries and then they realize, holy smokes, man, we do things in the U.S. pretty much upside down. This matriarchal system won't fly here because most parts of the world is in the patriarchal system. The men are in charge. Men run things. So if this, this woman is taking this behavior to foreign countries and realize it real fast, especially in Africa, because this, woman, this woman, woman wants to go to like black countries where they can find black men, then they're realizing these black men are not the same as the black men they have in America. These black men won't tolerate this. They won't tolerate this. Oh, you got your degree, you got your PhD and all that stuff. These men don't care about all that. All the, they won't respect. There's a hierarchy going on. They're going to whoop your ass with that degree. Don't, don't. don't. <laughs> You're going to learn the hard way. Just let's keep watching. Move. Move. Y'all be thinking y'all the only option. They are. I, mean, I can go date an Indian, a Hispanic, mm -hmm. a white man. Mm -hmm. Y'all not the only mm -hmm. options out here who think y'all doing well you know for yourself, and that? that's the problem. You know what's the problem? Y'all done put yourselves on a pedestal you know when it comes to black women. So this head movement, all this. <laughs> would not fly in other cultures. Other men will not tolerate this. The black American men will tolerate this because this is how they've been programmed. That's why I say. They are your best option. And the more they wake up now realizing they don't have to tolerate this no more. These women are being left alone. Love them are dying alone. See the news every day. This woman has been found dead in the house by herself. They realize she's been there a couple of days after she starts thinking. These men are not dealing with this no more. And they'll tolerate this even less in other countries. In the, where the third world countries or whatever. No, you, you, you flaunt your green card in their faces. This man don't care about all that.
And y'all need to bring it on down true, because have we have we have gotten to start dating outside our race. Mm -hmm, okay, that's true, that's true. and finding a white man. Get me out of Jamaica because these niggas said they don't eat pussy and his lady don't respect her. The vulgarity, the cussing. This is not feminine. This men do not like all this cussing women. No. You want him to eat pussy? Ziggy Marley, this Take it from me. If I bring someone like this back home to my parents in Nigeria. Uh, I wouldn't even dare. I wouldn't even dare do that because it's like I'm bringing shame to the family. Serious shame. I would never. What? Tattoos, all this stuff, and all these women's long nails. I can't bring that home to my up to my Nigerian people. You, you crazy? That's why you paddling alone? Paddling alone? Paddling alone? Cause you're not eating pussy. You rather stay here to eat pussy? Why then you don't want a green card? Eat some pussy and get a green card. Eat some pussy, you're a millionaire. Eat some pussy. Talk all this nonsense at the resort. They mean all these men and degrade them and insult them, or whatever. At the resort where the security never used. To. Don't try this out out of the resort in the main. Looks like it's in Jamaica or something. Don't you gonna you gonna learn? You are gonna learn real fast. These people don't tolerate shit like this. Pardon my cousin, but they don't tolerate nonsense like this. <laughs> and the local women do not like these women that come from the U.S. especially and run their mouths and just be loud and obnoxious and rude to their men. These local women do not like that. They don't like them. Always be helpful and learn how to carry something on your head no matter how hot it is. Secondly, befriend the babies and pay them some Naira to teach you how to do some footwork. Third, know how to cook his favorite stew or soup and have the aunties teach you in the village. It's the Agusi for me. Fourth, get one of his cousins to do your hair and make sure that you show the aunties after because they're going to tell you how beautiful you look and how you look like them. And lastly, y'all, make sure you love the village because more than likely you're going to be bringing your kids back. I did all and we still broke up. Clown! You're gonna break up because respect is huge over there. That's that. That's a village village. The more rural you go in Africa, the more masculine and patriarchal the men are. No this and no peace. You can't go over there where a man has his way of doing things. Pretty much live like a king over there. And then you tell him, oh, you're gonna bring him to America and all that. So he's gonna come here and says cleaning toilets and washing cleaning the streets and taking nonsense and insults from you all day that's a bad deal he's not gonna do that man what? <laughs> come on man come on the relationship the data market is a mark is a business is a transaction you can't put bad deals in front of people and think they'll accept it doing a lot of the sisters I know most of my demographic is African American or diaspora, as we call it. So they're usually melanated people from the respective countries they come from. And so they're coming over here, and a lot of them are. And I'm not putting out, because I don't believe in calling our people out and putting out our dirty laundry, but I will. We should. We should call them out. Bring shame back. When you see nonsense behavior, call it out. Call it out. Public shaming, let's bring it back, because maybe that's how people are going to start acting right in this community. People say, because you asked the question, a lot of them expect something that isn't here, and then they wake up to the harsh reality. I've yeah. talked to like seven different people. These are women that came here and married a Tanzanian man or in a relationship with him, and they're getting beat. They didn't think African men were, they, they didn't know. They thought that maybe I could come here and control that man, but that's not how it works here. So they get smacked upside their head, and they don't deserve to be hit. They don't. But at the same time, they should have known. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't know, they're disappointed. And a lot of them, a lot of them leave. Any out guys, what's sad to me and revealing, and my brothers are actually the ones that have brought this to my attention. Right? If they don't start listening to the men and start giving the men what they want to make this the relationship work, they can be cooperative in the union and start growing family again. These women are going to die out. But what's happening to me is the fact that when it comes to 
a lot of the modern women, and I hate to do this, but I have to, in America. Why is it that there are not men from all over the world, different countries, the whole nine, coming here to pursue us on a very serious level? Because there are no wives in America. Most of these men want wives. There's boss ladies in America, not wives. Or at all. Right? I'm not even hearing about men traveling to America to hit and quit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> to me, the juice is not worth the squeeze, man. That reveals the fact that when it comes to a lot of us right here uh, in America, we are not ideal women to be with. We are not wifey material, if you will. Yeah. Right? However, you do have a lot of the men right here at home in America traveling overseas to buy wives. Because the traditional women over there, that's what the men are seeking, so that's what they get. Jesus Christ. Right? So not only do you have uh, the men that are overseas, staying overseas to build families, to get married, to find love, but then you have other men from different countries going to different places outside of the U.S. to find what they're looking for in a woman. What does that say, you guys? 